We are happy to be back in Algiers, and it is very encouraging that our reopening has been so well received by our host country and Danish and Algerian companies alike. Algeria welcomes back Danish investors to the country. Tuesday, businessmen of both countries had the opportunity to discuss the investment climate in the emerging market that is Algeria. For Danish investors, Algeria offers a gateway to Africa. Enhancing economic development in Algeria and building stronger relations was the theme of the Algerian-Danish Business Forum held in the presence of the Algerian and Danish foreign ministers, in addition to members of the FCE and businessmen of both countries. Since the political and friendship relations between Algeria and Denmark are excellent and satisfactory, so the economic relations are humble and they undoubtedly deserve to be developed at the end. It's a goal that could be achieved, especially given the complementarity between the economies of the two countries. The foreign investors came looking for opportunities in key areas such as health, energy, agriculture and security. For the Danish Foreign Minister Andrew Samuelson, the important reopening of the Danish Embassy to Algeria encourages the expansion of investment. This major event will pave the way for investment in Algeria. I was therefore very pleased to officially reopening the Danish embassy in Algiers yesterday. Stronger commercial ties and expansion of trades and investments between our two countries are key priorities for the Danish <coughs> government. Novo Nordisk has been active in Algeria since 1936. After today's business forum, I look forward to participate in the stone setting ceremony at Novo Nordisk new, factor, new factory sites in Blida. The Seidel Novo Nordisk partnership highly symbolizes the future joint friendship and cooperation ties that link the two countries. A first step for building promising projects. <laughs>